Hi, this is Gary Gold, and I sell high-end real estate in Beverly Hills, Bel Air, and the Sunset Strip. And in 2012, I'm going to sell 42 homes, and this is how I'm going to do it. For every three new buyers and sellers I talk to on the phone, I'm going to meet with one of them. And I know if every three people, new people I have a, uh, a meeting with, whether it's a listing appointment or take them out to show properties, I'm going to sell one of them. I have a tight team. It's not like they have 100 people. I don't... I mean, I'm going to do 42 transactions this year. I don't need an army. I've got a personal assistant. I've got a buyer's agent. I've got a transaction coordinator. Everything else gets jobbed out, and that's pretty much it. When I see a lead coming in, I ascertain very quickly if I think it's really a legitimate, a good lead. They aren't all are. You know, very few of them are. And if it is, I am on it. But the one thing that's really critical, you've got to know your market. You've got to be valuable. These things will illuminate how good or bad you are. If you do all this marketing and you don't know what you're doing, you're just marketing yourself how bad you are. <laughs> More people will know that you suck. <laughs> if you get a lead, they are going to go on your website. And when they go on my website, they get to meet me, they see interviews, they see press, they see a lot of things that legitimize who I am. And they say, I know what I'm doing. And it's super powerful. When people see a property they like and they want information on that, they're going to go to the quickest way they can get that information a lot of the time. The public is not using the local MLS to find property. They are using Zillow, Trulia, Realtor. These are where, I mean, all you have to do is go to uh, a site that shows you who, where the top 10 real estate sites are and you'll see those names. You're not going to see any local realtors on there. So I go where the buyers are. Well, I, I remember that I had one person say, God, it's such a waste. Uh, try, you know, Being on Zillow is such a waste because I, got, I get calls from people and the house isn't even on the market. And I go, okay, you're telling me that like someone like communicated on a $5 million house and it's not for sale? I mean, they want to buy a house. The one they want is sold, and that's not a lead? So people don't ask the right questions. It, you know, these are leads, and then you start asking people questions and finding out what they want, and you could provide them a service and get a client. Some of my best leads are properties that might not be for sale, but they're on Zillow because they post everything in America. It's just a conversation starter. Yeah, when I first get a property, I, my head starts spinning and I go, what are the opportunities here? Because everyone could have a unique opportunity. This one I had a lot to work with. We were able to build a TV show around it. So I, on, when I was on Selling LA, I used this as a premise for Selling LA. It's on Zillow, Trulia, Homes, Front Door. I've got about 50 different websites where my properties are on. And as I said, I'm auditing them constantly, make sure they're on and they're on right. I always start with great photography and then I back it up with video. And today, if a house doesn't photograph well, or if you don't have good photographs, you're not gonna get the, the buyers in. You need to have great photography. Don't, don't take photos yourself. I don't care, I, mean, I don't care who, unless you're Ansel Adams, hire somebody else. It used to be the case where you'd spend more money on more expensive properties. I do pretty much the same thing for a $2 million house that I would for a $20 million house in terms of the expense. Things don't cost money as much today is they just take smarts. This is for everybody. You need to make one technological advancement a day. If you don't, at the end of any year, no matter who you are, you're going to be an idiot. I mean, I'm, getting, I'm doing more to educate myself in real estate in the last three years than I did in the 27 years prior. So get yourself educated. Uh, align yourself with other people that are good. Give information away. If you are a big conduit of information in your office, more will come into you than goes out. If you're sitting there trying to hoard all your technological and marketing and know-how on the market, you're going to be living in this little bubble. We're, we're, this is a very collaborative business. We work with our fellow agents, and uh, it's really good to be a team player, even though we're all individuals.